Hi uh, YouTube, this is Patrick with my uh, next review for Dexter, uh, Season 6, Episode 3, called Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, this was actually my least favorite episode so far. Um, pretty much for the reason that the... The reason I like most shows, or most of the shows that I like, are more like serialized stuff where a season has an overall like, kind of theme and arc and something like that. Uh, that's why I normally don't watch like procedural shows, um, you know, like a whole bunch of cop shows and everything like that. Um, and Dexter always has like an overall season arc, but it also has, you know, the kill of the week stuff in the same like vein every single episode. Um, this week's episode, uh, I thought, did a great job on the kill of the week, but the overall theme aspect, as far as the whole season goes, uh, I thought it was actually pretty weak. Um, but, uh, the basic, alright, so basically the standalone stuff that I thought was great was the whole, like, Tooth Fairy thing. The, um, first of all, the actor was, was really, really funny. Um, all the golf stuff was funny, him being, like, foul mouth and, um, uh, just pretty, like, awful. Um, and Dexter getting slightly, like, pissed. Uh, at the guy that he was going to eventually have to kill. He, and then getting, like, you know, more annoyed that, you know, this was the guy he idealized in high school. Uh, all that stuff is really funny. Um, and then, like, to boot the, um, what do you call it, when he finally got him trapped. Uh, first of all, it was nice to see that the guy had some, like, life left in him and didn't, um, you know, didn't just become an idiot. Uh, he caught on to Dexter. Uh, but Dexter was just a little bit too smart and too quick thinking, uh, which he always is. Um, but it was kind of cool to, for the guy who was, like, taunting Dexter, basically telling him this is what's going to happen to you, no matter what, no matter what you do. Um, and that was, that was kind of, uh, it was cool to see because you kind of think of how the show's going to end and how, you know, happy or not happy it's going to be for this guy. It probably won't be happy. Um, which is even just, every now and then when they give us, like, hints that it's not going to end well or it's just going to be, you know, something pretty crazy. Uh, I've always enjoyed, like, them doing that throughout the series. Um, and they did that wonderfully in this episode. Um, and I like how he, you know, he dumped all the, the teeth of the victim so the guy's son would never find out, which is how Dexter has grown as a person over the course of the series and stuff like that. So that was really great. Also, Dexter dropping all of his slides uh, gave us a moment, a reminder of how really just nuts Dexter is. Which is really crazy. Like, he really isn't really isn't that human sometimes. Um, so I really like that stuff. By the way, I'm really tired, so if I seem like out of it, it means because I am out of it. Uh, Alright, now that was the stuff that I liked. The rest of the stuff, the overall theming of the season. First of all, the villains, Colin Hanks and Edward James Olmos, I thought took a little bit of a back step this episode where they were getting like you know like oh looking a little more menacing and now they just kind of this week it was just kind of like eh all right they got a guy trapped um you know we saw the mannequin stuff coming we knew they were going to be doing something with the guy um but it wasn't like anything like the stuff with them wasn't anything special and the end of the episode probably would have been more effective if showtime wasn't you know completely idiotic in showing us the end of that episode a couple of weeks ago um, and it was really way too short. We didn't really get a good look at what happened. Um, not that I'm looking for just, like, straight-up gore, but, you know, this is stuff that's supposed to, you know, shock you and make you go, like, oh, holy shit, you know, can't wait for next week. Didn't really have that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that was, that kind of bothered me. Um, and, you know, the, 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 the characters, you know, like, we've seen people, other vi villains on the show do worse. Um, and I feel like things should be upgraded every single season. Uh, it's early yet, so, you know. Also, we need people that look like they're going to be difficult for Dexter to take out, and these two don't fit that bill yet. But it's early, so we'll wait and see. But right now, they really don't. Not yet. Um, not at all, not yet. Um, but, I, I mean, I do like Almost and Hanks, and we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh... And then, oh yeah, like, most deaf didn't really do anything this episode. He invited Dexter to a baptism. Uh, I guess that's next week. Not completely looking forward to it. But usually the stuff that I'm not looking forward to for the show is usually the stuff that surprises me. 
uh, which is why I love the show. So we'll see about that one. Uh, but he didn't really have that much to do this week. Um, uh, ah, and now, the overall theming shit that really pissed me off this season was everything with Deb in this episode in regards to Deb with Quinn and Deb with LaGuerta. Uh, first of all, Deb, like, taking it all their shit and not, like, bouncing back was just aggravating. And you know, eventually she's probably gonna do it. Uh, or they're gonna catch her in some, like, screw-up or something like that. Uh, but it was just not, not satisfying. Uh, but what's worse is that, like, Quinn and LaGuerta are just regressing so badly as characters. And that's a bad thing because they're regressing to, like, one-note characters. Which I don't want. Um, it's just that like Quinn's acting like an 18-year-old, you know, just like frat boy, basically. And just like an a just he's just acting like an asshole. Um, so I hope he snaps out of it or something happens to snap him out of it. And LaGuerta, just forget it. Forget it by now. Forget it. Um, <laughs> uh, I still love Batista. Uh, he's fine doing what he's doing. Um, Masuka's girlfriend, or soon to be girlfriend, or whatever girl he's going to be dating, um, has a bit of a crazy streak. She took the severed hand with the nail polish that said she painted her nails like that a couple of years ago. That, is she going to have like a connection to the ice truck killer, or is she just going to be out of her mind? Either way, there's something for Masuka to do uh, this season, so that's okay. Like I said, I said that before. I like that, and I still do. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really got from this episode. Like I said, it was my least favorite so far, but they're still in the middle of setup mode. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it keeps going. Uh, the preview for next week made it look, you know, really good, but it's a preview, so we'll see. Uh, now I'm going to say that I heard a theory online. It's not a spoiler, it's just a theory. But, um, it seems pretty spot on as to what might be going on here. So if you want to shut this off in case you don't want to know anything. Not that this is, you know, fact or anything, but uh, when I heard this, I was kind of annoyed that I heard it and I wish I could kind of unlearn it. Uh, but, yeah, so shut this off. And, okay, now for the rest of us. Um, the theory is going around that Edward James almost is Colin Hanks's like dark passenger and that he's not real um, which so far this season we haven't seen anyone else interact with almost um, and there could be at one point later in the season we'll see like Hanks maybe you know burned himself with that the, the hot rod thing um, so until we see someone completely interact with almost I'm going to hang on to that theory um, which I don't but the problem is I also don't know if that makes it them more interesting or less but we'll see We'll see about that one. Okay, uh, I'm going to do The Walking Dead um, review tomorrow. Um, that was another problem with Dexter, because The Walking Dead the premiere was better than the Dexter episode, um, which I watched after, too. So uh, that kind of hurt Dexter a little bit. It won't be the case every week, I'm sure, but it did this week. All right, that's it. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Later.